Today, I'm going to teach you some of the best ways to do free AI competitor keyword research. So we're going to look at some of the best tools to do keyword research for SEO with. And these are some of the hacks that I've used to rank for thousands of keywords. You can see this site is already ranking for 56,000 keywords. On top of that, it's getting a lot of traffic in, which is great. Getting new top three positions every week. And here's the thing. I use a lot of tools just to speed up my workflow, but actually there's a ton of free competitive keyword research tools that I'll show you today that you don't need to pay for. You can find an infinite number of keywords without spending money on fancy tools. I'm going to teach you how to find low competition SEO keywords. And the beauty of this is that when you're using your competitors, they've done all the hard work and the research for you. They spent hours doing it. So if you can come along and take the hard work and figure out, okay, where are they ranking? What are they doing? How can I rank them? Then you're already winning. So let's talk about some of the best ways to do this. The first place to start is with Google and you want to find relevant websites that are competing with you on the SERPs, right? So let's say, for example, you had a website about numerology and you're showing out rank websites that talk about numerology. You want to find niche relevant sites that you're trying to compete with. For example, let's take this site right here. They're ranking and talking about similar stuff. If you had a site about numerology and then you found a niche relevant competitor and you just need to start scraping their keywords. So we'll create a new Google sheet and we'll start tracking our competitors like this. We'll put their domain in there. And then from here, what you can actually do is if you go to Google and you type site colon, you put their website in like this and just a domain, just a .com bit. So we'll delete the HTTPS like this. We'll put in the keyword that we want to rank for. And what that's going to do is find us a bunch of relevant topics related to keywords we want to rank for. So for example, numerology, number eight, personality traits, or number nine in numerology. These are all keywords that you could potentially go for as well, because you know, your competitors trying to rank for them. And then you can just start scraping them. On top of that, you can actually get a competitor's site. Let's put mine in, for example, like this, we'll hit submit and we'll try and find their site map, right? So you can do this for any competing domain. I'm just doing it as an example for my own site. And now it's given us a site map. So from here, what a site map is, is essentially a list of all the topics, all the content that this website has published. And what you would do is you would go to their post site map like this, and you can do this for any competitor you're trying to scrape keywords from. And if you open up this free AI tool, Harper AI, and what you can actually say, Harper AI is a prompt, and I'll include this in my free course. It's in the comments. You can say based on page, extract the relevant keywords. And then what this does is based on all the posts that your competitor has created, you can actually scrape their keywords. And this is a free AI competitor keyword research tool that you can easily scrape dozens of keywords from, as you can see here. And what this does is it takes a keyword from each URL that the competitor is ranking for, right? And then you don't need to do any manual scraping or checking yourself. And you can just copy and paste that list or filter it down. And you've got a list of your competitor's keywords. And then you can do that for as many competitors as you want to scrape and just get all the keywords that they're trying to rank for. And another free keyword research tool you can use for scraping your competitors is Uber Suggest. So if we go to Uber Suggest like this, and um, we'll enter the domain of our competitor, we'll hit search like this. And just so you're aware, because this is a free tool, of course, you're only going to get three free searches per day, but that's enough to scrape your competitors. And then you can see which of their pages are getting the most traffic, right? So if we scroll down here to top SEO pages, you can see the top pages for my website. And for any competitor that you're trying to search through and scrape, you can actually get a list of the top pages. And then you would figure out from here, okay, what are the relevant keywords that I should be ranking for too? On top of that, if we scroll down, you'll get the SEO keywords right here. And it will list all the keywords you want to rank for, the volume, the position, the estimated traffic each page gets. And it's sorted in terms of the volume for each traffic. So that's great because then you can prioritize, okay, this competitor is getting the most traffic from these keywords and therefore I should target them too. And that'll bridge a gap, not just in terms of traffic, but also in terms of authority. Because you know, if a website is getting a lot of traffic, they're obviously an authority in terms of Google. So if you want to be seen as an authority too, then you should try to aim for similar pages to bridge that gap in topical authority. And that's a good signal to Google. 
So you get one free search if you're logged in, but you don't even have an account. And then on Uber suggests you can also create a free account here, and then you get free free searches per day. The other cool thing is, well, you can see the site's domain authority, how many backlinks they have, how much total organic traffic they actually get, and organic keywords as well. And then you can copy them to Clickboard, or you can export all the keywords to CSV. You can also filter the volume. So if you want to go for keywords with 1000 plus volume, you can filter it like that, which is pretty cool. And you can also sort by SEO difficulty. Now, of course, this is a free tool. So sometimes the data isn't going to be as accurate as a paid tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush. But if it's free and you're not paying for it, that's the price you pay, right? But very quickly, what we can do is filter down the volume, filter down the SEO keyword difficulty. And then we've got a bunch of keywords here. And if we actually take one of these keywords, for example, like this one, Sparrow Symbolism, and we search that on Keyword Explorer on Ahrefs, we can see how accurate this data is. And the gap between the data is not massive, right? So if you look at this keyword Sparrow Symbolism right here, and you look on Ahrefs, which is a pay tool, and you compare the data, you can see that again, it's saying it's low keyword difficulty and the traffic potential is pretty much the same. So traffic volume right here is 1,600 on Ahrefs. The traffic potential is 1,700. So the metrics are not massively off. If you go on keyword ideas as well, you get a bunch of keyword ideas based on your competitor that you could potentially rank for as well. And then again, you can filter it down by volume, by difficulty, and then you've got a bunch of ideas for keywords that you could create content around for a free tool, it's pretty amazing how much research you actually get and how much data you can get. And then you've got a bunch of proactive suggestions based on your competitors that you could potentially go for. Now, another option you could go for is you could go to Google Keyword Planner, which is another free tool. And this is normally used for Google ads, but you can use it for SEO as well. And if you click start with a website right here, you can paste in your competitor, use the entire site, we can change the country right here. So let's change that to United States as an example. We'll hit save, click get results. And we've got a bunch of keyword ideas. And you can see there's actually hundreds of keyword ideas based on your competitor that you could potentially go for. And then if you quickly want to prioritize and filter out the best ones, you can say to Harper AI, open up again. And you can say based on page, filter the best keywords for my website to target. And then it basically tells you how we're going to consider the best keywords to target. So the criteria it's going to use, search volume, relevance, competition, et cetera. And then based on that, it's giving us some of the best keywords we could target based on our niche and priority. So between these two tools, you can kind of filter them out. And then you would just have a manual scroll through using Keyword Planner, using this AI tool. And that's basically how it works. And another free keyword research tool you could use it's actually Bard, right? So you can go to Bard.Google, completely free to use. And you can give it a prompt like, give me keywords related to your niche and the competition slash search volumes, and then create a priority score and prioritize the best keywords to target for SEO. What that does is it gives you a table like this, keyword competition search volume priority score. It orders them by priority. You can actually export that to Google Sheets. So you can see it's creating the spreadsheet down here. And we can open that up as well, which is pretty cool because Bard actually links to Google Sheets. Now there's been some updates recently, which means very easy to create documents and files based on the research you do inside there. And also it breaks down how it calculated the priority score, right? So it's taken the data from Keyword Planner, got the competition score, divided it by 10, then added the search volume, right? Which is quite an interesting calculation. So it's basically coming up with an algorithm to scrape and find the best SEO keywords for you. Then it's given us a list of the best keywords. And it's also given us some tips on how to do keyword research, like using long tail, using relevant keywords, optimizing your website's target for keywords, and of course, building backlinks. So it's pretty useful. And you know, when you do a combination of all of these, you can get some really good ideas. I'm gonna include this prompt right here in my free course so you can get it based on today's video. Additionally, you can go to WordStream. So it's wordstream.com. If you go to wordstream.com forward slash keywords, you type in your competitor's URL, hit find my keywords like this. This is another free keyword research tool for scraping your competitors. You can refine it so you can say, right, choose an industry, etc. We'll hit continue like this. It's going to take about a minute to generate those. 
And then we've got a bunch of keywords here. Now, it's not necessarily that this website will be ranking for all of these keywords. These are just keyword ideas that you can get from your competitors' URLs. And what you can see here is that you get the keywords, monthly search volume, and competition for each of those keywords. You can download them all like this. You just add in your email address. But there you go, a bunch of ideas. One little disclaimer I want to give you here is that the competition score is actually based on ads. So even though it might say low, that might be purely for advertising, not for SEO. So you have to do a bit of manual research yourself and just figure out, okay, can I realistically rank for this keyword or not? For example, if we take the keyword types of birds, you have to scroll down the page and say, right, can I create a better piece of content? Can I build backlinks to this page? Are there some sites I just can't outrank at all? And that's on you to really figure out manually, but with a combination of these free keyword research tools and actually manually checking the keywords and the SERPs yourself, you get a better feel for it and you can really understand, okay, am I moving in the right direction? So that's basically it. You now know some of the best free AI and SEO competitive keyword research tools to start ranking and getting more traffic like this. If you want access to my free course and it includes lots of prompts, tools, scripts, etc., completely free, link is in the comments. You can get free instant access and that'll be emailed directly to you. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Cheers, bye-bye.